Welcome to BCTV. We are hoping you're having a wonderful day. Today is Wednesday, September 4th. I am Ari Cedillo. And I'm Michael Holguin. Let's get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise in order of our nation's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So why do we say the Pledge of Allegiance? We googled it and this is what we found. To instill a sense of patriotism amongst the students. Historically, we have done it for over 100 years to respect those who have given their lives for our country and finally to check our loyalty to America. Very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that. Here are the rest of your announcements. USA Skills is meeting today, September 4th, and the next FCSCLA meeting is on Wednesday, September 11th. Please stop by room 302 with Mrs. Christ at 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Attention AP students, AP testing fees are due by September 15th to the banker. Please get the test registration form from your AP teacher. Auditions, do you like to sing? No. All Centennial students are welcome to audition to, for Bulldogs Go Broadway Wednesday, September 4th in the theater. Come prepared with a school appropriate Broadway song memorized. Plan on singing with karaoke? Sign up for a time in inquire room. See Mrs. Webb or Miss Larkin with any questions. Do you like to train hard, get yelled at, and want to become a superstar like LeBron James? LeBron James. The men's basketball team will be holding an informational meeting on Friday, September 6th at 6.40 in the main gym. Make sure you are there. So our announcements are short today because it is now time to watch our Dean's Orientation video. So stay tuned and enjoy. We will see you guys next time. Hello everyone, welcome to Centennial High School's Discipline Office Orientation. Discipline this year will be addressed by our administrative team. Our administrative team is led by our sensational principal, Mr. Trent Day. The administrators also include our inspiring assistant principals, Ms. Leon Fontenot, Mr. John Denardin, Mr. Doug Wilbur, and Ms. Karen Marska. Our campus security team includes Coach T, Mr. Terry, Ms. Wells, and Mr. Stan Stanfender. The police officers on campus are Officer Thompson and Officer Patty. We are going to review a few of Centennial's rules and regulations. Dress code. No baseball caps are allowed on campus. You are also not allowed to wear see-through, bare midriff, strapless, tank tops, or low-cut clothing. Shorts, skirts, and dresses must be of fingertip length, and no muscle shirts are allowed. No sagging pants or hanging belts. No shirts with suggestive slogans. Alcohol, drugs, or weapons. No bandanas or do-rags. And also no jewelry depicting any weapons. When there is a dress code violation, the first offense will be a warning and will request that you change your clothes. Second offense, changing the clothing and parent contact. The third offense will result in parent contact and an RPC. Refusal to change immediately will result in an RPC. Centennial's tardy policy. Tardy lockouts will be held every period, every day. Students will not be allowed in the class without a tardy slip. Parents are required to sign the student into school the following morning. Parent sign-ins are conducted in the theater lobby from 6.30 to 7 a.m. and in the discipline office all other times. Students who are not signed in will be placed on RPC. Attendance every day matters. Students must provide a note 
to the attendant's office within three days of return from the absence. Failure to do this will result in an unexcused absence. Notices will be sent to the student's recorded residence after the third and sixth absence. Students that are more than 30 minutes late to class will be marked as absent. Students that exceed six unverified absences in any class per semester will not earn credit for that class. After any absence, a student will be required to initiate contact with their teacher to obtain makeup work within three days. There are consequences to truancy. The first consequence is a conference with student, parent contact, and a truancy letter sent. Second offense, conference with student, parent contact, second truancy letter sent. Third offense, conference with student, third truancy letter sent, cited for truancy by the school police. You must appear with a parent in court, possible fines, and community servants. The fourth offense, there will be a referral to the Star On program, and the fourth truancy letter sent, habitual truancy citation will be made by the school police. Parent pick up and drop off. Parents are only allowed to pick up and drop off students in front of the school. Do not drive into the bus area at any time. Centennial is a closed campus. Students may not leave campus during the school day. Students may not go to the parking lot or to the athletic fields. Violation of closed campus policy will result in a safety search and parent contact in a possible RPC. Repeat violations will result in the referral to the Starham program. Nuisance items. These items are not permitted on campus. Over-the-ear headphones, selfie sticks, baseball caps, and skateboards. In addition to that list, um, all headgear, uh, wallet and chain sunglasses, selfie sticks as I said, wallets and chains are not allowed, flowers, balloons, stuffed animals, blankets, pillows, sleepwear, and Centennial is not responsible for any lost or stolen or confiscated items. Earbuds, videotaping, and food and drink are not allowed in the classrooms. If you would like a locker, they can be assigned by request from the discipline office. Report locker problems to the discipline office. Lockers are a privilege and they remain the property of CCSD. Lockers are opened and inspected periodically. Do not share lockers. Hall passes. You must have a pass when you are outside of the classroom. If you do not have a hall pass, you will be escorted back to your classroom by a hall monitor. Cell phones are not to be used while out of the classroom with a hall pass. Student discipline. If you need to report an issue or a concern, the discipline office is located upstairs in the back of the school. The discipline office is open between 6.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. If you have an immediate problem, sign in and fill out a statement. If your parent would like to schedule a meeting with an administrator, call 702-799-3440, extension 4500. Bullying and cyberbullying are prohibited. Bullying is defined as any written, verbal, or electronic expression or physical act or gesture of any combination thereof that are directed at a person or group of persons, or a single severe willful act or expression that is directed at a person or a group of persons. Bullying may include mocking or demeaning others based on age, race, color, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, sex, physical or mental disabilities, or the background of a person. It's also including blocking any access to a property of a school. It includes blackmail, extortion, stalking, physical harmful contact with or without injury, threats to harm, transmitted verbally, electronically, or in writing, and battery. Any student who feels they are a victim of any type of bullying or who feels threatened should immediately report the incident to the discipline office, a teacher, a counselor, any adult on campus, a school administrator. Say no to bullying. There is also a website that you can refer to. It is ccsd.net slash students slash bully. And there's also anonymous reporting done through the Safe Voice website on Centennial's webpage. Please be very careful when using social media. Remember that nothing you ever put on the internet is ever private. 
Never post inappropriate pictures or videos or threats to other students on the internet or social networking sites. Be careful who you tag. If you tag a person, the post will show up on your wall or tweet. No cyberbullying. You will get in trouble at the school for it. Be careful who and what you text. If something is deleted off the internet, it is still there. It never goes away and is always accessible. Sending and receiving nude photos or videos can get you in legal trouble for child pornography. Behavioral guidelines for secondary students. In the classroom, discipline may include but is not limited to a warning from the teacher, parent contact, referral to the counselor, parent-teacher conference, referral to discipline, the school's discipline may include, but is not limited to, a warning, in-house suspension, RPC, a suspension, behavioral school referral, referral to star on program, or an expulsion. Expulsions. Expulsions will be recommended for battery on a school employee, battery on a student, drug or alcohol distribution, and weapons. When emergencies happen, please remain calm and follow the directions of your teacher. Stay in your room whenever you hear a shelter in place, a hard lockdown, or a soft lockdown. If you are out of your room, go to the nearest classroom and report to that teacher. Do not stay in the restroom or common areas. Please look at the evacuation map in your classroom. Understand the route and the assembly area. Routes and assembly areas are different for each classroom. After you exit, please follow your teacher's directions immediately. Be sure to clear the fire lanes next to the building. You are not completely evacuated unless you are far enough into the parking lot as to not interfere with the path of emergency vehicles. Thank you and have a sensational year.